What's up guys, Tyler Casey here with Cinepax and today I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to use our dirty film effects and all the cool things you can do with it. This pack allows you to get that old grungy look on your footage and definitely has some nice film textures to it. I'm gonna be covering the paid pack today. We also do have a free version that you can download and sample uh, to see if you like the pack or just to see if it works in your editor. So make sure to go download that. That's in our free pack section. This is what's gonna come in the pack. You're gonna have the film film countdown leaders, you're going to have film texture and you're going to have marks on film and there should be a little link right here for tutorials. So film countdown leaders, these are going to be all the countdown leaders. If I play this, uh, these are basically, you know, just it counting down. We threw these in as a bonus. There's a bunch of really cool things. I'm going to show you how to use those later. Um, also there's film texture. So this is kind of just like a constant look. I included black and I included white in here. And then we have all the marks on film. So this is the majority majority of the pack and these are like markers and scratches and like even like hairs and this is basically like overlays that you can use over your footage so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring these straight into premiere so i can just drag in all three of these let those import and i'm going to go ahead and grab those two as well so I have some clips right here. These usually work on lighter daytime type clips, but they can work really on anything. Uh, so one cool thing that we could do to start out, let's just start with the basics. Uh, any of these overlays, the way you're gonna wanna use them is you're gonna wanna come over and you're going to want to change the blending mode. So if something, if you have a white backdrop, you're gonna wanna change the blending mode to any of these, darken, multiply, color burn, any of these little sections. So I'm gonna do multiply, and now you can see we get a cool overlay, and when we, we get the effect coming up on the screen. Another cool thing we can do, of course, is we can change the color of these effects. We can just drag on HLS, and what that's gonna do is we can rotate the hue of the color. So let's say you wanted this one red, Easy enough, we can just change it just like that. If you want no color, you can just decrease the saturation and you have just black writing. So that's pretty much the way you add all these on here. There's some really cool ones in there. There's this pretty cool transition like this right here. So same thing, we're gonna change that to multiply. And we'll let that play through and it covers up the whole screen. Another cool thing, like let's say you like the look of uh, these little sprockets on the side, you can also crop that in uh, if you don't really like those. Another cool thing we can add is these film textures. So we can just grab the white one. If you drag that on, you're gonna change the blending mode to screen. And then if you drag on the white one, you're gonna change again, the blending mode to multiply. So I'm gonna do that one. Um, and you can see now we have those markers the entire time and it'll blend in with any of the effects. I'm gonna add one of our PNG overlays from our Super 8 effects pack. This kind of gives, this kind of ties in nicely and we get a nice cool little overlay. Let's scale that to the frame size. And if it doesn't fit, we can just do uniform scale. This is in our Super 8 pack. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure to check out the Super 8 pack. But it kinda of just gives like a cool little look uh, to the outside of the edit. And one thing that I also did in the promo video is I did some black and white when the effect came on. You don't have to do this. This is just more of a stylistic thing. And I also threw on posterize time. So if I come over to here and I drag on posterize, this kind of gives that film look because most film is projected in 18 frames per second or you can even get crazy and do like eight so you get some real choppy-ness in there. So it comes in. If we play that now, we get a pretty cool transition and we can actually add some more stuff onto there. Take a look at the red marks on film. So there's a bunch of transitions in here as well. This is one of my favorite. It kind of looks like blood or something like, I'm gonna change that to multiply again. Now with the red marker effects on there, we can see we get these really cool like red splatters. And there's just a nice, there's a crazy amount of grain and hair. Another cool thing we included are these leaders and countdowns. So these kind of have like a red tint to them. With these, you can see what looks best. I think screen might look the best. So it kind of gives your footage a reddish tint. But one cool thing that you can do is you can just decrease the saturation. Um, and you want to use screen on these because it has a darker background. And if you want to kind of get rid of that transparency, you can always just crunch the blacks, add some contrast, play around with the shadows and you get some really cool effects. I kind of like just putting these in as a quick little burst. And these have a pretty cool look to them. I like playing around with these. There's a bunch of like 
crazy little snippets in here that you can just flash in between frames. Uh, we even have one that's like super grungy. You can use these as well. Uh, if you overlay these, these kind of give like the reddish tint. Um, if you like the reddish tint, go for it. I kind of prefer the black and white, but I want to include the red for you guys. Because uh, I do like both, but if you do want to make it black and white and you do want to overlay it, it's a little bit tricky, but you can kind of get the effect. You just kind of have to play around with the curves and play around with the saturation and leave it on screen. But definitely the leaders are work really well over the footage. You get some really cool looks, uh, just like the countdowns. Even if I like play with the colors and whatnot, it's a little bit more tricky to get it to look decent. This isn't bad if I had a bunch of contrast. This is kind of like a cool look that you could splice in there real quick. This one's super chopped up. But I much rather prefer the look of the leaders. The leaders look really nice, especially in uh, black and white. That's pretty much the dirty film effects. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below or contact us through our website if you guys are having trouble with this pack. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.